Brown is now coming up. The whistle is sounded. Joe Lewis looks a little bit, uh, well, perturbed in his corner. Here he comes out against Desert Charles. This is the slowest of the first few seconds action of any round. There's Charles starting his leads now. That's the first round I've seen him go to work at the body. Both boys completely blinded in their left eyes. Attesting to the punching power of both. Both will keep punching away at those eyes. Well, there's the cleanest shot of the fight you've seen with Joe's head snapping back, a long right-hander. Perceptibly slowing down, but still he has that powerful punch. Two minutes to go in this round. Round 12 of a 15-rounder for the heavyweight championship of the world. And your host, Paps Blue Ribbon, mighty happy to bring you this Blue Ribbon bout. Mighty happy. The action has slowed down a bit, but certainly the stirring quality of the fight hasn't. This is the slowest of the action rounds so far that we have seen. And as I've said, it's a credit to the superbly conditioned Charles because he's weathered the blows and he's still willing to mix it in there with a dangerous puncher like Joe Lewis, who himself is in superb fighting condition. So their equipment is exactly the same and the damage is exactly the same. One minute to go of the 12th round. And so far, I would presume the slowest round of the fight. And it should be from the pace these boys have kept. Joe looking for the opening, looking for the opening. Every now and then, seeing it, I think. We're looking to see exactly what damage is being done so that we can pass it on to you. This is a round where both boys, I think, are cautious and wary, looking for the spurt to the finish. A half a minute to go of round 12. And so far, a fight both boys can be very well proud of. Patterns change again. Lewis willing to lead if he can get close. Both eyes, both fighters, the left eye is completely closed. Inside the 10 second uh, set to now. Charles striking out, scores heavily. And there's the bell, ending the 12th round. And Joe Lewis goes back to his corner, much more tired than I've seen him before, and as a Charles going back to his corner, superbly conditioned as he is, evidently in good possession of all faculties as he awaits round 13. Now there's a whirl of excitement around the ringside from the press. As they look around, how do you make it? That's the answer. What do you think? Will it wind up the way we think it will? What have you got it marked on your card? So we'll look ahead to round 13, and here they go. Again, back in the original pattern, despite the fact that his nose always draws Claret from Joe's left. He's out springing around to start the round. Throughout the fight, I think the indication that Charles is willing to mix it with Joe has been one of the astounding features. Joe always willing to move in. Now the drama rap represents itself again. How well, how well can as a Charles fight? Well, that's been proven up to this point. The question now, the other half remains, can Joe come back? Two minutes to go of the 13th round. The round with the hard luck number. Both boys are slipping on their punches. They're not hitting as heavily as before, and yet they're punching.
almost over. One minute to go. beginning to see the plotting cannonading. Half a minute to go. 13th round. of the round round 13 the crowd liked that one well 13 rounds have gone by and but two remain and so far both men have had exactly the same damage both left eyes completely closed both noses bleeding both scoring with telling whistling rights both willing to mix it Charles always slowing down a bit as the round comes to its conclusion Joe constantly stalking looking for that big one powerful punch to regain his heavyweight championship, which he gave up when he retired. Charles willing to prove that he is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Round 14. measures now Joe Luce is bleeding rather profusely from his nostrils it's a milling fight now if the word milling can be used two minutes to go of the 14th round His eyes went slightly glazy on that one as if he were tired. Joe is tired against the ropes. He looks as if that eye is painting him, and it is. It's completely closed, has been for quite some time. But instinctively, Joe fights. Now this is Charles' best opportunity, so watch it. One minute to go, the 14th round. around the ringside is stay away Joe stay away Joe and I guess you know the dramatic quality of that half a minute to go of the 14th round the Cincinnati Cobra still springy Joe plotting round 14 and both blows were struck after the bell. Joe Lewis with a right and a retaliatory right from Ezra Charles. 